Okay. So in the next part, we are going to discuss the effect of having modules or communities. So you probably know that sometimes networks have a strong community, so they have a group of uh, links that interact strongly within and weakly between. You can also have the opposite. You can have networks where there are communities that interact weakly between, within and strongly between. And so if you want the art comparison, this reminds me of Mondrian. And in general, people, when think of communities, again, think of uh, modules on the diagonals, but you can have, in general, groups of, uh, in this case, species or nodes that interact in a similar way with other groups. This is somewhat related to the stochastic block model. So the question here is, um, what happens if you have this kind of structure? And uh, so what we did is that we consider random matrices where there were different groups of different sizes. And these groups were characterized by different means, variance, and correlation of interaction strength. And uh, so you have a huge, depending on how you choose your, your uh, parameters, you have a huge set of um, uh, uh, effect on the spectrum, on the uh, spectral density. So here I'm plotting like two different groups with uh, different, uh, they, sorry, yeah, you have two groups, they have different sizes and they interact in different ways. And you get all sorts of shapes, including sort of Star Wars uh, uh, shapes. So the important point that I want to make is that um, what you can do, I mean, of course, you can look at for uh, hundreds of hours at these shapes, but what you can do is that you com can compare the effect. You can try to measure the effect of having a modular or what we call anti-modular structure. Uh, and with modular structure, I mean that you have groups that interact strongly within and with anti-modular that interact strongly between. Uh, of having these structures versus the random um, a random network. So what you do is that you you get the spectrum of this um, network with a modular structure, and then you randomize the network. So you randomize the coefficient, preserving mean variance and correlation, um, and you compare the effect. So if this this stability ratio is larger than one, it means that the effect of the structure is destabilizing. If it is lower than one, the effect is stabilizing. Here you have uh, modularity. So on the right, it's more modular. On the left, it's more like bipartite. You have things that interact strongly uh, between. And what you can see and here, three different panels corresponds to diff different choices of the mean interaction strength. And remarkably, you can see that the effect of the modular structure depends on uh, the interaction strengths, on the properties of interactions. So for, in for instance, an anti-modular structure is uh, stabilizing when the mean is zero and this destabilizing when the mean is different from zero. And uh, here you have some stabilization, but then disappear when the mean is positive. And this also pre present when the mean is negative. So more, so this suggests that actually when we look at the effect, when we want to uh, connect dynamics with structure, we want to connect what is the effect of um, uh, interaction structure on dynamics, we should be aware that the effect of a particular structure depends on the properties of interaction themselves and is not universal and depending on, dependent of what kind of interactions you have. So in this case, uh, we sort of to prove this, uh, the, uh, this effect, we took three different empirical networks. One was a contact network, the other one a uh, uh, food web, and the last one um, was uh, a pollination network. We took the structure and then we changed a um, critical parameter, which could be the, uh, the, the mean interaction strength uh, or the variance or the correlation, depends on different networks. That's not the point. The important point is that, as you can see, depending on the value of this parameter, so the structure of things that are, the structure of the network, so who is interacting with whom is constant. What is changing is how things are interacting. So depending on how things are interacting, this, the effect of the network structure change. So on the y-axis is still the comparison with the random network. And you can see that sometimes the um, empirical network structure has a positive effect, while other times the empirical network structure has a negative effect compared to, to uh, random metrics. So this concludes the parts on the uh, modular structure.